So we finally got a break in the rain to do some recording out here. And, uh, you know, rain is an interesting thing, isn't it? It's, um, it, it really depends on your perspective. I mean, because rain can be an absolute inconvenience or rain can be a total blessing. It's one of those things where your perspective on the thing makes all the difference. Um, for about two weeks now, I haven't needed to mow my lawn, and that's been great. I love that, you know, when it's late in the summer and the lawn gets all dry and dormant and you don't have to worry about mowing it. I really kind of enjoy that. Uh, but still, I kind of wanted the rain to come so that my lawn would look green again because I don't have any irrigation. And rain is just one of those things that really can divide me on a daily basis. One day I think it's great, another day I think it's not so great. In fact, perspective really causes a lot of divisions in our world altogether. It's not just that we can be divided about the rain, we're divided about so many things. I wanted to do the recording today from this point here on the pedestrian bridge because I think the Wabash River and the pedestrian bridge are a perfect illustration of the thing I want us to be praying about today. You see, the Wabash River is literally the thing that divides West Lafayette and Lafayette. I mean, there are lots of things that divide West Lafayette and Lafayette. Let's just be honest. There are lots of things that are dividing people these days. We're divided about political things. We're divided about medical things. I remember a day in my life when all of the divisions were like religious in nature and people were upset that this group of people were playing this kind of music and this group of people was playing a different kind of music. And it seemed like all the divisions were things like that. But now we're in a world where the division is like, which news broadcast do you pay attention to? And which person on Facebook do you follow and trust? And our divisions are based on like, what facts are actually true? We're divided about so many things today that I never thought we'd be divided about. And yet we are. But that's the other reason why this location is such a good spot for us. Because not only is the river a symbol of division, but this bridge is a symbol of uniting. I mean, this is a pedestrian bridge. You don't just jump in a car and drive across it. You have to walk it. And if you're walking across it, you might encounter some people. Just being out here, we've already seen a number of people come by. And that's just what this sort of place is all about. It, it doesn't divide, it unites. And that brings me to a passage of scripture that I wanted us to think about today. Jesus, in the Sermon on the Mount, says that God sends his sun to shine and the rain to fall on the righteous and the unrighteous. Now that's an interesting thing if ever I heard it because righteous versus unrighteous is literally the most important division in all of the history of humanity. We've already been told that one of these days Jesus is going to come in judgment and they are, God is going to separate the righteous from the unrighteous and the righteous will go into his presence for eternity and the unrighteous will be banished from his presence for eternity. I mean, the idea of righteousness versus unrighteous, that is the most divisive thing in the universe. But God sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. One of the things I think you and I need to remember is that if you live in Lafayette, today God sent rain on the people in West Lafayette. And if you're in West Lafayette, you got to remember that today God sent rain on the people in Lafayette. And if you're a Republican, you need to remember that today God sent some rain on the Democrats. And if you're a Democrat, you need to remember that God sent some rain on the Republicans. And that rain can be both a blessing and an inconvenience. And here's the big thing. Here's the big thing. If God loves all of us so much that he is willing to unite us through the death, burial, resurrection of his son and the gift of eternity to all of us equally, then certainly we can find a way to be united with each other. And certainly we can find a way to let our different perspectives on different things stop being so divisive. So join me in prayer today. Let's be a people who pray for God's perspective to win. Let's be a people who pray for God's view of us to win. And then, just maybe, as we begin to see the world a little bit more through his eyes, as we begin to get a little bit more of his perspective, just maybe, 
we'll be a little more united with each other.